Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you what's a relatively common fault on this Sony TV. Uh, I've had it quite a few times so the model number is a KDL 40W5810. Um, now it's actually blinking an error code on the front. Um, if you count the flashes it's blinking 14 times and that means we've got a timing control panel fault. Um, now these boards are no longer available from Sony and um, you'll really struggle to get a second hand one so I'll just cut to the chase I'll show you exactly what to test and what to change right so just one little important thing to note first you can't make any tests when the red lights blinking because uh, the safety circuits turned all the power supplies off so you turn it on on the side and when it's green you've got about 10 seconds to make some tests before the red light starts blinking once the red light's blinking the power rails will go off so while it's green we make a quick voltage measurement on the TCOM right so the first thing we need to do is locate here pin 1 of IC29 and that needs to be about 12 volt that comes straight from the TCOM fuse so if we've got 12 volt there next you move the meter probe to pin 8 and you should have more or less the same on pin 1 as you have on pin 8 now if pin 8 is significantly less than 12 volt you need to change this chip so let's just turn it on and measure two voltages right so this is pin 1 and we've got 11.96 now if I move to pin 8 we've only got 4.5 volt so what you need to do is you need to change that IC because you should have about the same coming out as there is going in so what's actually the significance of this little 8 pin IC um, well all it is is, is it's a power MOSFET um, a P channel MOSFET it takes the power from the fuse here um, and it switches it it's controlled by pin 4 um, and the control signal on pin 4 um, switches the output on and off and all that chip does is supply all the other chips on here so as you can see it has a pretty hard life right so now you'll see on here uh, pin 1 and pin 8 uh, yeah the, the control signal the gate is on pin 4 um, so there it is, it's an FDS4435 30 volt P channel MOSFET. So uh, let's just go and have a look if we've got one of them stock, and uh, if I have, we'll pop one in. If not, we'll have to order it. Right, so here we go um, FDS, and uh, somewhere here. Are we looking at it yet? FDS4435, that's the one. Yeah, either supplied by RS Components or Farnells. I can't remember which one, but they'll be genuine parts. Right, so rather than take the board out and take it to the uh, hot air station, I'm just going to take it out in circuit uh, without even unplugging it. What I'm going to do is just flood all these pins with solder and then we'll just uh, lift it out with a pair of these tweezers. Right, so I can just about get the camera in to do this. So just flood it all with solder. And take a pair of tweezers just lift it out just like that job done right so that's the old one out that's the new one still in its packet um, I've cleaned all the board up ready to fit um, you can see where it was there IC29 uh, let's just get the new one in right so once again I'm just going to hand solder this because I can't be bothered to take the board out it's too much trouble 
So let's just solder this back in. I've already put it in place. That's one side done. That's the other side done, simple as that. Right, so that's high C29, I've cleaned the flux off. Um, all we've got to do now is uh, check pin A. If we've got near enough 12 volt, um, much the same as going in as out, then it sets working. So, I've got to hold the camera at the same time. Turn it on. That's pin A after a short delay. Yeah, 11.85, that'll do absolutely fine. The set is now working. So let's just uh, put the cover back over the TCOM board and we'll have a look at the picture. Right, so tally's all back together, connected with Skybox. Let's just turn it on. Oh, that's better. Yeah, and there we go. Absolutely perfect. Very, very quick job on the Sony TV. All right, guys and girls, many thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Johnson versus Rishi Sunak, Boris Johnson versus Penny Morden, and the final decision is taken in just a few days' time by Tory members. They'll probably choose Boris Johnson. I can't.